everyone, so today we are doing a quick little Kill Star haul and try on. So basically I'll be trying on some stuff that I got from Kill Star, showing you the pieces up close and personal so you can see how they move and how they fit and all that kind of stuff. So um, that's what we're doing today. So uh, just in full transparency, these items were gifted to me by Kill Star. Also, everything that I'm gonna mention and try on today will be linked down in the description box for you. That way you don't have to go search for them. Anyways, before I babble on any longer, cause you know I would, let's get into it. I'm gonna start with my top because I'm so excited about this top. Let me see what it's called. I always forget. Uh, this is the Spellman long sleeve. Wait, is that right? Spellman long sleeve top, like Sabrina Spellman. And it is a mesh top. It's all mesh. It doesn't come with this under situation. Um, it's just a cami bodysuit basically I'm wearing under this. It's just an all mesh long sleeve top with this amazing collar. I don't know, it's part magical, part vampy, almost like long, almost fang looking a little bit. <laughs> to me, it's perfect to put anything, like a little tie underneath it, if you wanna do a little bow. Or I put this necklace on underneath, just tucked it underneath the collar. And it almost looks like there's a brooch, like I have a brooch pinned here. That's kind of what I did with it. And the fabric itself, it doesn't feel scratchy or weird or anything like that. It's nice and soft on the body. Um, a very nice feeling mesh. It's not prickly or anything. If you know those kinds and you know, it doesn't feel like that at all. Um, it does have a little bounce to it, but not a ton of stretch. So with Killstar, I'm very much in between sizes. I'm between an extra small and a small. But with this one, especially if you are busty, I would say if you're in between sizes to go with the larger of the two sizes, which sometimes if you're on the bustier side, if you go up a size, everything else just looks baggy or bigger. This didn't happen in this situation. It's not bunching or baggy anywhere. So so I would recommend sizing up if you're on the busty side. That's just my recommendation, but do what you do and what you feel and your soul, go with that. All right, moving on. The next thing I got from Killstar, I'm gonna mention this necklace since it's kind of part of the top I'm wearing today. So this is the Venom necklace. I'm gonna show you up close what it looks like. This necklace, it got me. It's a kind of brooch looking necklace, like the whole, pendant of the necklace looks like a brooch like a really cool gothic victorian brooch and it has this really cool intricate detail with a little skull at the bottom at the center there is a spider a whole spider situation the spider is so subtle which i love so much because it's just a little something. Like just when it catches the light or you're really looking at it, you can see that spider in there. So it's a way to kind of throw a spider into something you're wearing, but still kind of have that um, elegant witch vibe, elder witch vibe, which is definitely what I'm going for. Also, I got the matching earrings, which these are the Venom earrings is what they're called. This is the Venom necklace. I don't know if I said that, but but the Venom earring is basically the same thing, just on an earring. So it's like a whole brooch situation with a spider in it. And then it has also a little black rhinestone up towards the top. And I am obsessed with these. They are that perfect statement earring. They're not too heavy. They are, you know, a statement earring. So they're gonna be heavier than say a stud or, or like a little dangly dainty something or a little hoop or something. But they don't pull my hole down, if that makes sense. Like they're not making my hole stretch down. If I, Hopefully that's not... Um, they don't pull my hole. So next up I have this dress. This is called the Elise dress. And it is a, it is everything I love in a good dress. I love all of Killstar's black clothing, but I especially love when they do a black dress with a white detail. I love the contrast. It makes me so happy. So this is a long sleeve skater style dress. I will say that if you're not really into the skater style, but you're more into a bodycon style, they do have one that looks very similar to this that's more in a bodycon style. Um, but this one is more of a skater style. It has this, these gorgeous, gorgeous cuffs, these white lace cuffs with this little ruffle detail and the lace is gorgeous. I love Killstar's lace. All of it is just so beautiful. Sometimes they do magical prints. Sometimes they're just classic, really beautiful looking Victorian type of lace pieces. And that's what this is. It's more of that classic kind of floral lace, really, really pretty, really dainty, really nice. 
And then the collar slash chest situation, it once again has the really pretty white lace and there is no lining underneath it. So it will show your skin through the lace. And then it has a collar on it and it's not a super structured collar. This one has more of a, like a chiffon feel to it. Uh, really pretty, I feel like it goes really well with the lace. And then at the center there are some buttons some black buttons and also this cute little black ribbon. It's almost like a little skinny tie. And it zips all the way up the back. And the fabric on this is probably my favorite fabric that Killstar does. I love this fabric. It is this really, really soft jersey type of material that's really stretchy. It has a lot of stretch, this type of material. Let me see if I can get a good look at it. If you can see, it's got a good amount of stretch to it really nice and stretchy, really soft. There's one last thing I want to mention is the sizing. So this type of dress with the really stretchy jersey style fit, I feel like if you're in between sizes, you can go with the lower size. But also if you're on the busty side, I feel like you don't need to size up like you normally do. You can go with your normal size because there's a lot of stretch in their jersey material. But for me, with any of their dresses, whether it's jersey or not, I always go with, even though I'm in between sizes, I always go with the larger size because I like my dresses to fit more flowy, less form fitting. It's really comfortable and I feel like it's flowy a little bit. So I went with a small on this one and it's the perfect fit as far as it has a little bit of that drapey feel. It doesn't look too big or anything like that. It's just a little bit more of a relaxed fit. So next up I got this this is the last clothing item I got. I got this Lusha Batwing blouse. It is this oversized kind of tunic style button down blouse. I was looking for something to wear with my Killstar leggings. So I saw this and it is this whole flowy oversized fit kind of chiffon feel blouse that buttons all the way up or down or whichever one and it has a pocket on each side of the chest and this really, really pretty pointed collar. And it's just a really flowy type of blouse. And it does have more of that tapered look or I don't know, kind of like a mullet dress, but less, it's a little more tapered than that. So I would say it's more flowy than like the mullet dress that just goes down the back and you don't see much of a taper. I feel like this one kind of tapers down towards the back to where it's longer in the back and shorter in the front, um, which is perfect for me for leggings because I do like my butt covered when I'm wearing leggings, but it's definitely more of a drapey, oversized, witchy feel. But also I would definitely wear some sort of brooch or tie in front, like under the collar and do like a whole tie thing. And, um, and like I mentioned, it does have more of a chiffon feel, so no stretch to this at all. And with this one, I think it'd be really easy to dress up, dress down, you could wear, you could layer it up to almost where it looks like a full drapey witchy look where you could wear a maxi skirt, like a black maxi skirt with it, or you could wear some flare leggings with it or some fitted leather look leggings or pattern leggings. I feel like this is a really good legging shirt. All right, next up is another necklace and I haven't even opened this up yet. I haven't even seen it in person. Well, I have seen it in person. I've seen it in the bag and I love it. This is called the Baby Luna Necklace. It is a moon necklace, which I'm all excited about, but I'll tell you why I'm so excited about. It is a black moon necklace. It has a really long chain, which I also love because you could either wear it long, like a long necklace, or you can wrap the chain around your neck and wear it layered. So almost the top chain is like a choker. I love any kind of necklace that has that option. So that's why I picked this out. I love the black metal look. All right, the next thing I got from Killstar are these sunglasses. And if you've been around here for a while and you've watched my vlogs, especially when I'm out in my car, when I'm out driving around, cruising to Joann's, then you know that I'm obsessed with my Killstar sunglasses, the intricate, I can't remember what they're called, but they're like the intricate swirly design are really magical looking. I'm obsessed with them. Um, so I wanted to get another pair of sunglasses so I could give them a little bit of a break and have something to go back and forth between. These are these, they're black sunglasses and the frame is more of a square shape, but the whole reason I got these, 
I saw this, the whole, what is this part? This is the frame. I don't know what this is. The ear piece, ear rest, side thing, whatever this is, it doesn't matter. It has a snake on it. Well, actually two snakes that are kind of intertwined and they turn, or maybe it's a two headed snake. I don't know. May, I, I'm thinking now it's a two headed snake that goes into one and, and I haven't tried these on yet. They sell the sticker on it and everything. So I don't know what they look like, but hopefully let's, let's look. I'm using my phone as my, uh, as my, uh, what is this? My monitor right now. Um, but I can't get over the snake on the side. I'm so obsessed with this. And I actually really like the, uh, the square look. It is a larger frame, which I love because I love any pair of sunglasses that basically takes up my whole face. Also comes with the little sunglasses case. It says Killstar on it. All right, so next up, I'm really excited about these. Actually, some of you, I th can't remember if it was on Instagram, or here that you mentioned in the comments that you wanted me to review these or if I had tried these and I hadn't tried them, today is my first time trying them. But I got a bunch of these Coven Cosmetics liquid lipsticks, which is Killstar's liquid lipstick brand. And I'm wearing the Void shade today, the black shade today. So I'm gonna spend the rest of the week trying these out. Then next week, I'm gonna do a whole swatch and review and application of each shade so you can see what they look like on and do a full review. But the different shades I got, I will swatch them on my hand so you can see kind of what the colors look like, but the full lip swatches will be on that uh, video. Um, but this is the shade Void that I'm wearing today. It is a black lipstick shade. There's also the shade Dusk, which kind of looks like a dusty rose color. Um, it's like more of a kind of mauve -y rose almost. There's this shade here, Lenore. This is more of, I don't know how to describe this one. More like, um, once again, a mauve -y rose, but this one's a little bit more vibrant. And there's the shade Eternal, which is a dark vampy purple, which I'm really excited about this one. And then the shade Haven, which looks almost like an orangey, I don't know what shade this is. What is it? Like a orangey, yeah. It's like an orangey brown, almost like a brick color, but less red. Almost like a pumpkin kind of shade, which I love those types of shades. Then there's the shade Vampire, which is a red shade, which I'm also really excited about. I'm excited about all these, I'm not gonna lie. So I cannot wait to try all of these this week. All right, last but not least, I am so excited about this last item. I haven't even tried it on yet. So it's my first time trying it on, but I got this hat. Killstar hats are my favorite hats. I'm wearing the Witch Brim hat today from Killstar. I saw this hat on there and I knew I had to have it. What's it called? Mystic Maker Brim hat. And it is just a full on classic looking witch hat. It's got the whole little point at the top. It kind of slouches over a little bit. It has a suede feel to it. And then it has a ribbon that wraps all the way around. And then it ties in the back and has this cute little moon charm on the back. And I'm just so excited to try this on. Let's do it. Oh, look at my hat hair. It looks like I was just born. <laughs> Let's put it on. I'm looking at my monitor, AKA my phone. Let's see how it's going. All right. Oh man, I love this already. I don't know how I'm gonna wear this yet. If I'm gonna wear it like most of my brim hats back on the head, or if I'm gonna wear it more forward like so. But I am all about whatever is happening here with this slouchy situation, like this whole thing. And But it also has ribbon on either side that ties around the chin. So that way the wind won't blow it off of your head which I feel like is the number one thing I hear from people. I usually just hold on to my hat on a windy day and it's fine, but let's see. Little witch on the prairie. <laughs> I'm so excited to play around with this. I'm just so excited about this hat. I'm just gonna wear it for the rest of the video, which we are done. But yeah, that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed this Killstar haul and try on. If you did, you can give this video a thumbs up. Say hey, ghoul, hey, down in the comments because you know I love talking to you. Also, let me know down in the comments which piece was your favorite in this haul. Or if you just wanna let me know if you if the liquid lipstick video is something you're interested in down in the comments. And if there's anything that you want me to cover in this video that I didn't already mention. Anyways, thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next time.